Hi everybody, I am Kelly from the Real Housewives of Orange County and I am here at Hilton Head Resort Health Spa and I am enjoying myself and I am here today with Chef Carla and I am going to learn how to make these delicious, which I love your food by the way, oh, um, recipes so I'm excited. So today we're going to make a Dijon and pecan encrusted salmon with a Brussels sprout farro slaw. So the salmon is fantastic because it's so simple. So. Um, I love simple. I know, right? Too. This is one I make at home all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to lightly sear the salmon and get that really nice crust on it. It's like the best part about it. So we're going to preheat the pan to about a medium high heat. And then my rule of thumb when I sear, cook with oil, if I sear protein or roast vegetables, I do about a fourth of a teaspoon of oil per serving. Okay. So if we're working with one serving of salmon, I'll do about a fourth of a teaspoon of oil. And that just keeps calories a little bit more at bay so that we can enjoy guacamole yeah. later. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, so a tiny bit of oil. See, I would have put a ton of it. Right. It's just what <laughs> yeah, we're used to. Yeah, exactly. And then just let it warm up about 10, 15 seconds. And you'll know when it's warm enough when it will just easily spread around the pan. We really just need enough space to plop that piece of salmon in. And when we add the salmon, we want to hear that sound, right? right. That's how you get a really nice sear. Okay, we're going to go ahead. So I'll go ahead. This is a four-ounce piece of salmon. I'll pop it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite sound of the whole world. I know. I love that. <laughs> so we're searing it. It's going to want to sear for about two, well, maybe about three minutes, both sides. Okay. And then we'll put the mustard and batons on it and finish it in the oven. Oh, okay, so you bake it in the oven. Oh, yeah, nice, that's, that's simple. So simple. And the cool thing that I love about this recipe, if I'm really in a pinch at home, I'll skip the searing process and just put the sand, like take the raw piece of salmon, put the mustard on it and the pecans and put that in the oven. Oh, wow, yeah, that's that super simple. Yes, I love that. Yes. And then, so what are we doing? Are yes. We're doing this next? Yeah, let's hop over there. We're gonna do the Brussels sprout farro slaw, so that um, side dish that was underneath of the salmon. Do you want to cut this? Yeah, you want okay. to demo them? Yeah. Can we show you how? No, show me how. Okay. <laughs> I just buy them at Trader Joe's already cut. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Stick with that. But they say that you lose the, the nutritional value, a right? Little. Like once it, it just starts to slowly break down, but it's kind of one of those things that you're eating vegetables and you're winning. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't be hard on yourself. Okay. So I cut it in half, and then I'm just going to shred it. Oh, you're shredding them. Oh, I see. Yeah, it. so it's a little bit more effort. But it just helps disguise that it's a breakfast bag a little bit more. Try it out. So wait, you cut it in half? Ooh, wait, there you go. Now cut that in half. Yes. Like mini cabbages. Yeah. <laughs> so then, and then wrap it through. Yeah. Oh, no, it's good as you. Put a little more oomph into it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh-uh. Let me do this for you. <laughs> there you go. And what you could do too, so you could use this, uh, the same recipe, and use your the Trader Joe's. Joe's yeah. Like it's, you don't have to shave them like this. Or you. Could well, I them. like them shaved. I like the yeah. texture of it. Like when I was eating it. Right. So I, I like the. The texture. Mm -hmm. You could always do um, shredded cabbage instead, like a bag of. Oh coleslaw. yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah yeah! Wait. Good to know when you're in a pinch. Right. Okay, so check this out. So I didn't touch it yet, um, but I see all that brown caramelization. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use the fish spatula. Do you want to do it? This is a fish spatula. It. Yeah. It helps so you can get under it. I need one of these. It is fantastic. This is awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Yes. And we'll turn the heat off, and then we'll put the mustard and pecans on. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Just so when you, alone. when you, because you have a bunch of those for dinner, mm -hmm. do you guys have them already baked? No, we make them to order. You do? Mm -hmm. But we have everything prepped. Like we'll have our farro ready and our pan. We have everything prepped. We can just throw things in the pan. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. That makes it easy. Definitely. So how cool. many do you, do you do? Maybe a little bit more. Okay. If you're tired of it, I can hop in. Yeah, you're faster. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're a professional. I'm afraid. <laughs> so wait, is it, you, did you take it off the heat? Yeah. Okay. So then we're gonna put the. I'm just gonna wait until we're done with this, and then we'll hop over and put the mustard on it. You know how fast that is? Dang, girl. <laughs> Are you married? 
Ooh, um, 30 days is the big day. Actually. Really? Yeah. It's wow, crazy. Your future husband must be excited to have you. Yeah, I think that's definitely what won him over. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so it's, it's already like, you just took it off the heat. There's no heat. Right. And it's just so searing like that? Yeah. That's cool. It's going to okay. carry over a little bit. And we'll put it in the oven. It'll take like three minutes in the oven. We'll okay. Quick. So then, be super careful. This is hot. But the mustard, so this is the Dijon mustard. So it's super grainy. Right, I love that stuff. And I'll pop this on and spread it. And it's a decent amount of mustard, but the... The salmon is really, it, gosh, it has a good punch to it. Holds that big, strong flavor. So it can right. so we'll pop those on top. And this recipe would work also. Um, if you ever eat pork tenderloin, it would be good. Oh, yeah. yeah. You could do the entire tenderloin. And it looks like. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, just that whole tenderloin looks pretty. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It's kind of like a holiday meal. Okay, pop it in the oven. It's going to take like two, three minutes. That's it? That's it. Oh, wow. And I do have my oven at 450. Okay, 450. Okay. So it's a game changer. Okay. Oh, because it's going to... It'll just pop quickly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think this is what scares people about cooking is the stuff. The knife skills, right? Yeah, the knife skills. Totally. And it takes... When you're not good at it, too, it takes more time. And it just makes the whole process long. But practice makes perfect. Right. It's like That's putting perfect. makeup on. Like I, true. Yeah. It's like I you can practice, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and toss in a little bit of oil. I'll do about a fourth of a teaspoon because I have about one serving of our slaw here. And then, so this recipe talks you through it, um, the written recipe that you're going to receive. It just has everything going in all at once. Mm -hmm. But I love to like partially sear the Brussels sprouts because that gets a little crispy. In the brown, the caramelized, yes. yes I yeah. like that too. Awesome, so we're gonna take that step. Um, so just so you remember that when you're at home, do just the Brussels sprouts first. Okay. Just do that extra touch. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I like um, Brussels sprouts um, with like balsamic vinegar. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because Brussels are bitter, just that little bit of vinegar is a good, it just helps balance, balance out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And so with this too, just like we do with the protein, we want to let it sear. So maybe wait like two minutes, then we'll give it a stir. But if okay. you stand over it and stir it, it'll end up kind of um, steaming it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't get that good caramelization. Well, good to know. That's how you get caramelization. Yeah. Okay, that okay. looks perfect. We can just add everything in. Do you want to go ahead and sure. pop the farro in? So, you just do like a cup? Um, or you do as is, much? You just eyeball it. You can eyeball it. That is a fourth of a cup. Okay. And then dried cranberries. Which I love. Yeah. Some red wine vinegar. Okay. Yummy. And I'll pop these in. And then you can go ahead. I always forget to cook. You can cook apples. Stir. Yeah. And these only we really need to just kind of warm them up. We don't want them to, we want them to have that shape and that firmness. And that, and that oh, and that, yeah, the mm -hmm. crunch. Yeah. Because that's what I think, you know, we all love. Like, that's why I like chips, because I like the crunch. Crunch, yeah, you need texture. Yeah. And so we're really just allowing them to warm up. This will take about a minute and we're good to go. That looks fantastic. I'm going to pull out our salmon. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look Yummy. beautiful? <laughs> wow. All right. Is that done? It's to go. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Cool. I guess you don't need to eat that much. I'm learning portion control while I'm here. So I'm like learning that you don't really have to eat all that much food. And my stomach is strong, shockingly. And look how beautiful the salmon is. Ooh. Isn't that gorgeous? You have a beautiful meal here. Isn't this gorge? I love Perfect. it. I'll taste this. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> cool. I'm going to make this right when I get home. And you have a cookbook, all right? I'm buying it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, feeling good? Feeling good.